Did I ever tell you how fast I used to be? Uh, probably did, didn't I? But anyway, joking aside, I did used to be faster than I am now. And I'm gonna go through the reasons that I think I'm slower than I used to be so that hopefully this can help you avoid the same things. I feel like I can still go fast, but definitely for not as long. And if you look at that raw video that I did not so long ago, the secret behind that video is stopping, pushing back up, having a rest and going again. I find that on a decent descent after a minute or so, I'm blowing and then my skills just go out the window. So the fact is I'm definitely nowhere near as fit as I used to be. Definitely in my enduro racing days, uh, I was much fitter. And even my early days, my early years, should I say, on GMBN. I'm not as fit basically because I spend less time on the bike. Of course, in my proper racing days, I was doing structured training where I would do two or three rides a week and hours on the turbo trainer, but proper structured training where I was doing interval training every single week, riding a road bike for probably at least 100 miles most weeks. So that I just don't do as much anymore. And that's because I'm a bit older, as comes to everyone, I suppose, but I have other commitments like work and family, which means that I don't spend as much time on the bike. And that does really affect how fast I can ride my mountain bike. The raw data doesn't lie. When I was a pro racer, I did a functional threshold power test and got 310 watts. More recently, when I did it, it dropped to 270 watts, meaning that I just can't maintain the same amount of power through the pedals for as long. And that does make a big difference to speed on the trail because yes, I'm not going as fast when I'm putting the power down, but also just my general levels of fitness mean that I can't ride as hard for as long. The next big one I think that slowed me down is injuries. I've had quite a few big ones, uh, actually some in the last sort of five or six years that have definitely slowed me down. So big one for me is breaking my ankle. I really got much less movement now, so I can't flex my toes up very much. So that just affects me how I'll ride basically quite a lot. Also, I find that with knee injuries, especially I've got a torn ACL in there, that I kind of, it does change the way I ride. I try not to be scared of falling off because I don't think that will help your riding. But I find that in a situation where I can choose whether to take a big risk or a smaller risk, I'll probably go for smaller ones. I know that if I fall off, I can really flare up my injuries and can make riding hard, it can make walking hard. So I definitely think that the bigger injuries have slowed me down a little bit. Age has slowed me down. I'm 40 this year, and as much as I hate to admit it, it must have slowed me down a little bit. Although I will say, I don't feel like it is age. I feel like it's accumulation of injuries and not being as fit, because a bit older. Anyway, I'm no longer that 18 year old who just hits big jumps and bounces off the floor. And if you look at uh, other sports like Formula One, they do those reaction tests. We've done that in the past, actually, for the Dirt Shed Show, where you know the thing lights up and you've got to whack it as fast as you can. It's proven that over a certain age, your reaction will slow down so that will slow me down on the trail a bit as well although I don't feel like it's made it probably is I guess I've already kind of said it, but a lack of bike time, it sort of dulls your fitness, but also takes away just a slight edge, I think, on your judgment and your riding skills, which I do think comes back. If you do get to ride a lot, which sometimes I do, maybe five or six times a week, then I feel like that all comes back, except for some of the fitness, but the actual judgment does come back. But I find the biggest difference now is not because I don't ride as much, it's because I don't race as much. And I think in those race situations, when you're going as hard as you can from start to finish you really learn the smallest of minutiae of like making sure that you're on the right line just every little thing when it comes to going fast on a bike and you know from the age of like 15 to probably 35 I raced an awful lot I raced full seasons so I think that really backs up all the time and it just makes you as fast as you can be
The repetition of racing uh, I think makes you fast because I know that back in my downhill racing days, if I didn't do enough of the smaller local races coming into the season and I went straight in at national or even World Cup level, I would just be off the pace and I would need four or five or six races to get back up to speed. So that's why I would get busy in winter, do all my training, do a load of the local races so I come into the first big race of the year swinging. So I'm not as fast because I'm older and I don't ride as much. They're the two biggest reasons I think. But what I'm kind of saying, but like really trying to say is I'm just not as skillful as I used to be. But also it's the fact that I don't need to be. Uh, I'm older, I don't race my bike for a living anymore. And when you do, you have to take those risks, take those chances every weekend of the year. And now I don't, so I really have backed off a little bit and that's definitely slowed me down quite a lot. But I'm not saying that you have to be either. Uh, hopefully this video is gonna help inspire you to sort of address those issues where you think you could maybe be a bit faster. But if you're a bit like me now, you're not quite as bothered. Still a little bit, but I'm not as bothered about going as flat out fast as I used to be. I think growing up as a racer, I think you get grounded pretty quickly, almost instantly. There's no one that comes in and wins their first race and then wins every race after that. Most normal people like myself come in, rise to the bottom, think they're hot stuff, come in and come virtually last and then they work really hard and you edge your way up the results sheet. So I think you learn pretty quickly that, you know, you think you're fast, but actually you're not. So you have to learn and you have to work really hard to be really fast. But the bikes are so much better now than they were in the mid 90s when I started. Has my trail speed actually improved? Well, I think my actual speed, let's say my race speed compared to others has slowed down. My on trail speed probably has improved just because the geometry of bike suspension, they're light, they're fast, they're efficient, way more efficient than 20 years ago, even more efficient than five years ago. So actually my on trail speed has probably not slowed down as much as my speed compared to other people. And that's because bikes are just so good nowadays. <laughs> There you go, there's some reasons why I think I'm not as fast as I used to be. Hopefully they're gonna help you out, uh, take a look at your own riding and try and speed it up a little bit if that's what you want. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if there's another reason that you think I've missed that that's why I'm so slow. But yeah, give us a thumbs up if you, you are 40 years old and you're slowing down yourself. <laughs>